over top of that riff, you get Kirk Hammett playing a nice little clean solo um, for the intro. And it goes like this. Okay, let's go over that much of the solo to start off. So, when he first plays, he's grabbing this E on the D string, 2nd fret. Hammer on the F sharp. Then 2nd fret with your first finger on the G string. Then grab this B with your ring finger. Bend it up about a whole step. So you get that C sharp. In that same position, you're going to go up to your B string, grab the 3rd fret with your middle finger, and just do a pull off, and then grab this B on the G string. So, so the first time, you're grabbing the B, second time, with your 1st finger, 2nd fret, you're grabbing the A, 3rd string. Then you're going to... So all together so far, then he does a little walk down, which I come up here and I grab the 11th fret with my ring finger G string, and it, it becomes a little diatonic pattern diatonic to the B minor scale. So, so what I'm doing is here on the 11th fret I pull off to the 9th fret and then 11th fret on the D string. So, and then you have that same kind of diatonic shape from the 9th fret, slide down to 7th fret, and grab the 9th fret on your D string. So, And then from here, from 7th fret, slide down 1 fret, then grab 7th fret on the D string. Back up to 6th fret, slide down to 4th fret, then grab your 5th fret, Back up to 4th fret G string, slide down to 2nd fret, 4th fret D string, then hammer on from the A to the B. So here's that lick slowly. So, so far, here's what we have with the solo, slowly. Okay, so the next part, very easy. So you're just basically with your A on the 2nd fret, G string, hammer on the B, 2nd fret, hammer on pull off to the 3rd fret, and then that much slowly. The second half of the solo is going to use that same position, but it's going to be up one whole octave, and you're going to grab this B note with the 16th fret on your G string, and it starts off like this. Okay, so this part starts off with a little B minor arpeggio. So, B in your 16th fret, 
15, 14, and then grab the high B up there, 19th fret. Then you're going to jump down to 17th fret. It's a little pull off, pull off, hammer on. Then you're going to grab the D here, which is your 15th fret. So all together slowly. After that part, I like to go back down a whole octave in the same position, and I'm going to grab this D with my third fret. I'm going to grab this D with my middle finger, third fret. And here's how it goes. So it's just basically pull off and hammer on diatonically up the B minor scale starting on your D. All of that on the B string. The very next part, you're going to remain in this same position with your ring finger on the 9th fret D string. So that's your B note, and you're going to do a little B arpeggio. Okay, so that's basically 9th, 7th, 7th, 8th, 10th. Then you're going to do that same pattern, except instead of grabbing this with your pinky, you're going to go up and grab 7th fret on your high E string. So, then you're going to do a full B minor arpeggio. So you have here, and then just go up the scale, and then back down. I grab the B 12th fret with my pinky on the B string. Here's that part all together slowly. Here's that part, medium tempo. Here's the whole intro clean guitar solo at medium tempo. 